So the dashboard page is going to be pretty easy to code simply because uh, most of it is already done. If we go to Photoshop and look at the design we made, uh, it's pretty much the exact same as the podcast show page, uh, minus the buttons, description, and the breadcrumbs. And we add these uh, links and then the edit and delete link for each episode. So let's go ahead and uh, style that. So I'm going to go to uh, Sublime. Let's close out of that, the index, and the podcast.html. We'll keep open the podcast dot, or podcast show. Let's create a new file and save this as uh, dashboard.html. Paste that in. So I know we are going to not have those links or the description in the uh, banner. So let's uh, go ahead and delete that. Uh, the rocket ship podcast, it's going to append a dashboard to it. Instead of episode, if we go to dashboard.html, that's looking perfect. Let's uh, remove the breadcrumbs. Just uh, delete that entire div. Refresh. Um, and in its place, we're going to add a div for those links. So uh, under here, let's add an ID of links. And then uh, let's add a wrapper skinny to match the wrapper below. And then I'm going to do a UL li uh, times four, because in the design we have one, two, three, four uh, links. So for the first one, let's add a class of current. And then I will say episodes. And then in here, we'll do an ahref equals, and then we'll stub it out. And then this will be new episode, and we'll close the href. Then I'm just going to copy that and paste it down here as well. Then let's change new episode to account settings and new episode to uh, view podcast. Save that and go back, refresh. All right, and let's go ahead and style that. So uh, below, so this is still in the podcast show div. So inside of here at the bottom, let's add a dot links div. And inside of here, let's add a padding of two RAM zero. Uh, then let's grab the UL and let's do list style of none, padding left of zero. Let's do a margin bottom. Actually, we can just copy this stuff right here, margin, padding, and border. And then instead of four RAM, let's do uh, just one RAM. Then one pixel, that looks good. Now inside of here, let's target the LI. Let's do display inline. Well, before that, let me show you what that does. Whoops, this is a ID of links and I did link here. So let's change that to links, go back, refresh. There we go. So now uh, let's target the LI, do display inline. Now if we go back and refresh, they're all on the same line, which is what we want. We'll do a margin right, one rem to push everything over. And then let's do a font weight of 700 to make it bold. All right, now let's uh, fix the color of each of the links. So we'll do A, uh, color, and we'll do dark, and then the hand hover. Let's do color of highlight. Refresh. And let's uh, also get rid of that text underline. So we will do text decoration none. Perfect. And then the current episode we want to highlight. So inside the LI still but outside the A, let's do dot current uh, color highlight. Hmm, something's not quite right. LI, oh, it should be outside of the LI, I'm sorry. So outside of the A, and then let's get out of the LI, add the current class. There we go. So that uh, is looking good. Next thing, let's add the edit and delete links to the episodes. So let's go down to the first episode uh, under here. In the episode overview, we will add 
Let's add a div with the class of uh, authorized links. Then inside of here, we will do an a tag href. Let's stub it out for now. And I will say edit. And let's copy that, go down, and do delete. Go back and refresh. Perfect. Now let's uh, copy those for each one under each description. Perfect. Okay, so now let's uh, go into the episode uh, overview. So let's go up. So under episodes, episode overview, let's do dot authorized links. Let's do a font weight. 700 to make it bold, font size, let's shrink it even smaller of 0.8 rem. Let's do, let's grab the A and uh, we'll change the color to match the description. Actually, you know what, let's uh, make the color the highlight color. And then we'll add a margin right of one rem. Now if we go back and refresh, perfect. It doesn't look like that margin right is taking, so let's inspect the element. Oh, there we go, margin right, I misspelled it, margin right, refresh, perfect. So now they will see um, on their dashboard, they'll be able to access new, new episode, account settings, podcast, and then edit and delete. And then obviously they'll have pagination just like the other pages. Okay, this is perfect. From here, we will uh, move on and code the sign in and sign up pages. <laughs>